Hi everybody. Motor Life Outdoors here. Um, this is going to be a little different. Um, today is June 24, 2023. Um, a year ago today, our nephew um, took his own life. Um, this is one of the last spots we actually spent time with him. He was actually up here uh, well, 10 days before he took his life. Um, this is where we want to remember him, not at his gravesite. We were in this wash doing rock hounding. There's actually uh, water covering a lot of the rocks uh, last year. Here's probably a good two inches of water running down through here. It was about, like I said, 10 days earlier than, than today that we were walking down through here. He had come up to Bonanza for a few days. Um, and uh, we went on a few attempted to do a few ATV rides. There was a lot of snow still. Couldn't get to some of the places that we normally go ATVing. Um, but that's what we were doing that day. Um, David, uh, Robert, and myself. And then also my dad was with us as well. So, um, But, you know, that he was here for about three days. Um, we spent a lot of time talking to him. I uh, had some good conversations with him around the campfire about life, what he wanted to do in the future. And, uh, you know, I just had told him that it seemed like, you know, he was going from job to job, wasn't really happy. Of course, he was only 19 years old. But I said, what you need to do is figure out what you're passionate about what you really love to do and uh, you know try and make that your career because then it won't seem like a job to you it will seem you know fun and interesting and, and not just work and so a few days later he had called called my my dad and talked to him and said you know that he appreciated our having those conversations with us and they thought a lot about it, and um, he had just started a new job with a, I guess it was a flooring company. I think he was going up to McCall to, to do a project up in McCall. And uh, so, yeah, we had a lot of fun. I also, you know, got to know David probably a little bit more than the rest of my nephews and nieces because... I got to spend two whole summers up here volunteering on the dredge. Uh, my first year volunteering 2017 and then 2018 as well. He was up here. And so we went on a lot of, you know, ATV rides, uh, sat around the campfire a lot, ate, ate together. He liked to play pranks on me and uh, make me watch interesting and silly and some kind sometimes even disgusting uh, vi videos on YouTube um, when we were slow on the dredge so um, but the biggest thing is that he always would make me laugh and yeah there's I always had a good time with him um, he was always a good kid very respectful and I miss him a lot. So this wash that we're in right now, we've always called it the dry wash. But for us personally, um, we want to dedicate this to him. Um, for us, this will always be called David's wash. So I'm going to flip the camera around and just do a little walk here just for a minute or so down David's wash so that you can see one of the last places we were at with him. David, we love you and we always miss you.
So, sorry about the video quality. Uh, GoPro was a little uh, low on battery juice uh, after uh, filming an excursion this morning. But we went up in this area. We felt it was important. But one thing I'd like to add is if you're struggling out there, you're thinking about hurting yourself, please seek help. Friends, family, suicide prevention hotlines, churches, please seek help. Again, David, we miss you. We love you. I hope everybody liked David's wash. One last thing my wife would like to show and as we are walking this wash today, I'm going to flip the camera around so you can get a better view. A heart-shaped rock. Kind of fitting. Again, it's, it's David's got wash. Little, it's got a little crack in it too. Yeah. Right there, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's kind of cracked through there. So I thought, well, that's kind of fitting because my heart's a little broken. But yeah, for those who know me, I like to collect rocks. And uh, sometimes I, I do collect the heart rocks too, the heart-shaped rocks. And so when I saw this, I just kind of like, thought it was a little bit fitting for today. And so yeah, thanks for coming along with this on this little journey. Appreciate y'all being there for us.